hooked up because I created these to go together. If I go in here and hit reset on my uh, the, the text color, which overrides the texture map, you can see what the original colors were. Now, one thing you'll notice is that the color is animating. So as I move through time, you'll see that the color goes from the blue color here to the white color I just selected and back to blue. That's not really the effect that I wanted. So let's back up. Let's delete this keyframe. We'll rewind to the beginning. And now I'm going to change the color of the text, but I'm going to click the All Keys button. This makes sure that any change that I make to these sliders it gets applied to every keyframe. So now I'll reset the text color, and now I've reset it to white. And as we play the animation, you'll see that the color remains unchanged. And the color is coming from that color map that I selected in the Change Effect dialog. There are all sorts of different effects that we can select. You can try all of them out. You can have a reflection with a bump map. That's a pretty cool one. The uh, first texture is the reflection map. Let's select one of our reflection map pictures. These actually come with Bluff Titler. Uh, as you can see, I've installed many different pictures that I can use. And then the second picture is the normal map that we're using before. And now you'll see that I get this crinkly reflection. Well, that's pretty cool. Let's have a simpler text effect for the center part of my text. I'm going to go back up into Media, Change Effect, and I'm going to use uh, just a basic texture mapping effect. This is the effect called Lightened, which is uh, one of the defaults. So I'll just go up, select Lightened.fx, open it up, and select the picture that I want to use. In this case, I think I'm going to use my Leopard for a texture. And of course, you can use uh, any image that's installed in your system uh, as a texture for your fonts. You can also use video, which is very cool. So now we've got really crazy silver bordered leopard fur text spinning through space. Uh, you might think this is kind of tacky, but uh, at Bluff Titler, we just love kitsch. And uh, you can be as conservative or as kitschy as you like with your titles. There are many more types of layers in Bluff Titler that are fun to play with. One of the coolest things is a particle layer, and you can actually have particles attached to your text. So you can do that by selecting the Attach Particles to Current Layer button. I'm going to click that, and then you'll see there's a bunch of different presets, some uh, that I've created, and others that came with Bluff Titler. And you can do things like, for example, select Sparkles. And now you'll see that there are sparkles that are attached to the text. This is very cool for adding interest to your titles and just making them just really groovy. And just like everything else in Bluff Titler, there are tons of parameters that I can change for my particle layer. So if I pull down the Layers menu, now I can select the particle layer, and I can do all sorts of things, like change the texture that's actually being used for the particle. So I can go into Media, Change Texture, and I can now select uh, a different particle picture. I've created lots and lots of these, and you can actually download them for free by going to www.mediablitzed.com. Let's select this different style of sparkle right here, and now you'll see when I click OK that I'm getting that different sort of sparkle effect. The other thing I can do is I can change how many particles are emitted, so if I move the emission parameter up I get very sparkly text. I could change the size of the particles. So I just get little sparkles, maybe. Or I can do things like change the uh, gravity effect on the particles and make them more like sparks. So now you see that gravity pulls the particles down. If we wanted to make them last longer, I could change the maximum age of the particles. You can read the online help to learn lots more about all of the things that you can do with every layer. Now when you play this back, you'll see I've got falling sparkles coming off of my text. Pretty cool. Let's go ahead and delete that layer. I can click the uh, Delete Layer key, and we can try again. Let's select a different type of uh, effect, like the heart particle. Ah, uh, see, you love Bluff Titler. Or maybe we should set things on fire. 
That's like the burning text option. Ah, that's pretty cool. Anyway, you see that there's a lot of really cool stuff that we can do with Bluff Titler, and you can get as crazy as you want. Other types of layers that we have in Bluff Titler are picture layers and plasma layers. Let's take a look at a plasma layer. The plasma layer adds graphical interest, and uh, if you click the Add Plasma Layer button, you've got all these different presets you can play with, which, of course, you can change at any time. So this is the white noise plasma layer. But we could do something like line segments or lines or circles. And, uh, of course, again, there are lots of different parameters that we can change. We can also go and select different presets. So let's go back up to our preset menu, say Load Preset, get the Presets menu back. Let's try Plasma Blobs. That's a little bit more sedate. And now you'll see that I've got this cool moving background that my text flies in over. Similarly, we can use uh, picture layers, and you can actually use Bluff Titler as sort of a compositing system. You can use just about any sort of picture format that you might have on your system, but if you use a ping file or a targa file, those are .png and .tga files, and those files have transparency defined, you can actually have uh, see-through layers so you can sort of composite objects onto your titles. So let's go in and try that. I'm going to select Make New Picture Layer, and let's select a picture of Bix, our friendly alien. Where is he? There he is. Let's use Bix2.ping. And now you see when I add Bix, uh, he's got transparency defined. And just like any other 3D object, I can say, make him 3D in 3D space, and then I can change his position, and I can move him all around. And again, this is keyframeable, so let's set a keyframe there, and then we'll rewind. And let's set a keyframe, uh, maybe like here. We'll have him up there. Let's change his rotation. Spin him around 360 degrees, and you'll see that Bix flies through space, while our title also... Oh, it looks like it's going to smoosh him. I guess we could make this uh, more dramatic, and we could uh, have Bix bounce when he hits the ground. So anyway, that's a very silly example, but you start to see some of the power of Bluff Titler. I'm going to go in and delete Bix, and delete my Plasma layer. Now, if I want to use my title in my uh, nonlinear editing system, I can export it at this point. So I'll go to File, and I'll go to Export as Movie, and I'm going to actually select Uncompressed AVI with Transparency so that the black parts of my image, the background, is actually transparent and I can then composite it on top of video in my nonlinear editor. So I select Uncompressed AVI with Transparency. I've got various post-processing options. If you want to make your titles look a little smoother, you can select Blur, or you can actually scale them down to half size. So what you can do is you can set your preview window to double size, click Scale Down, and you'll get a nice anti-aliasing effect. But in this case, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go in, select my frames per second, let's select standard NTSC rate, and I can select interlacing if I want to. We'll make it not interlaced. And then I click OK, and Bluff Titler prompts me to save my file. Click my first title .avi. Click Save. And now what Bluff Titler is going to do is it's going to save out each frame of the animation into a single file. And the flickering you see is the uh, alpha channel being written out. Click OK, and now I can use that in my nonlinear editor. So here I am in Vegas, and you can see that I've added my title to one track, and it's above a video track, and you can see that I can just easily composite my Bluff Titler title over my video. So obviously there are so many different things you can do in Bluff Titler, it's hard to show them all in just a few minutes. Um, but one great way to get familiar with things is to use the included examples. So if you go to Open Show, and you uh, go to the Shows subdirectory, you'll see all these different examples of things that uh, Bluff Titler can do. So for example, if you want to check out some different examples of particle effects, just uh, open each of those shows and check them out.
And uh, so hopefully you'll get inspired and learn new things that Bluff Tyler can do. Uh, there are two cool uh, add-ons for Bluff Tyler that I wanted to show you real quick. The first application I want to show is called Bixelangelo, and this is an application that lets you create sketches that you can use in Bluff Titler. So uh, let me just show you a quick example. I'm just going to kind of draw in some text with my mouse. If I were using my art pad, this would be a lot better. But I can do a quick sketch, write the words, the end. And now, if I save this out, And if I hit play, you'll see that Bluff Titler will actually draw out the sketch that I just drew. There are a lot of different things that you can do with Bixelangelo. It couldn't possibly go into them uh, right here, but you start to get the idea of some of the fun things that you can do with that. The other application I want to show you is called Bixarama, and this is an application that uh, helps you create uh, reflection and environment maps for use with Bluff Titler. The other cool add-on for Bluff Titler is called Bixarama, and it allows you to take panoramic photos and use them as reflection maps, or just build uh, other reflection maps for use in Bluff Titler. Here I've taken a seamless texture, and I can uh, format it uh, as a cube map, and I can export it. Sorry, export it. And save it and then I can use it inside of Bluff Titler. So here I'm in Bluff Titler, and I'm going to take my effect, select the uh, reflection map effect, and then select my cube map that I just created as the reflection map, cube map painterly clouds, okay. And now I've got a very cool reflection map to download my uh, particle pack for Bluff Titler and to see more Bluff Titler examples, visit MediaBlitz.com. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Now go have fun with Bluff Titler.